Hi everyone, this is Baz from Antishield.net. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about a very simple method to bypass firewalls restriction um, at your office or school. So in this video I'm gonna talk to you about translation tools. So first you can go to our site to follow and read the entire article and of course uh, we have a lot of other uh, methods to unblock uh, your connection. So let's start right away. Um, if you already tried to bypass firewall, uh, you have probably used proxies. And if you pr used proxies, you surely have seen that mm, maybe 90% of them ha are already blocked by your firewall. But um, the proxies are a great way in the paper to bypass the firewall. So um, we found a, a simple tip or another proxy that looks legitimate to firewalls and that's uh, what I'm gonna show you here so um, these proxies are called translation tools of course they do another thing that proxies they primarily use is to translate texts but uh, if you go to google the to translate the google.com for example uh, you see google tool that uh, do it so let's start uh, let's say at your office um, they blocked Facebook and you want to access it so what you're gonna do is go to this uh, site and you're gonna see that they can translate a web page URL and that's very important that's the thing you we want to do uh, just to say there's a lot of other translation tools that uh, can do the same thing okay so let's type facebook.com to see what we can do Okay, so of course you want to see it in English. You don't want to use the trans the real translation tool. So let's say translate from English to English and hit translate. So now you're gonna um, see a mirror with Google. Uh, that's why I, I took the example of Google. Is that if you see that with the translation tool, that's really not uh, a pain. What you're gonna do is because they they don't allow you to tr to translate the page to the to hit its original language so just gonna go to Facebook but in another language and how you do that you just erase dot com and tell the domain name uh, in another uh, country like for example fr for France so of course facebook.fr is in French so you're gonna hit French in the translate from box and that and you let it translate to English so that way you see it in English like the real facebook.com so let's hit translate and see what happens and so you see the real facebook.com and so you just bypass your firewall um, however uh, this method can uh, cannot unblock all sites with Google like I say you cannot translate a page from English to English and other sites don't have any other language than the original one so in that cases you're gonna use uh, tools like double fish that I think uh, allows you to do it okay so uh, let's just compare it to the real Facebook so that you can see that there are no differences uh, just apart some text because it's a translation the only thing you see is that box so um, why could you unblock uh, some sites like Facebook or MySpace with this method? Uh, it's because you don't access the site directly to its URL. If you see in the address bar, the URL is google.com. Uh, translate the google.com. The domain is google.com. So your firewall won't think that you're accessing um, a site, a proxy to connect to another site. It looks legitimate to him, and it's legitimate. I've Google translates are used by many people to do legitimate things so uh, that's why it works so greatly because webmasters won't block Google Translate they won't block Google at all okay so um, uh, it's I think we're gonna stop the video here uh, of course you can go uh, check out our site uh, for other um, methods um, so that's it. Goodbye.